Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I've got another Windows 10 tech experiment for you. Yeah, we're here in the good old Windows 10 VM once again. And this video comes as, as a suggestion by some of you guys on my uh, Windows Vista Product Red retrospective video. And I believe a comment posted by one of you guys uh, got pretty high up there on the uh, comment list on that video. I think it was like the second or third most liked comment, which was pretty awesome. And that comment was, could you try the content pack on Windows 10? If you guys haven't seen that video, and if you want to get some more information about the Windows Vista Product Red uh, Special Edition of Windows Vista Ultimate, I highly recommend checking it out. It'll be up in the cards, but essentially what this was to kind of give you the TLDR version. Uh, it, it was a special edition of Windows Vista Ultimate that came with a second CD that uh, contained some extra content. And this was sold as a, a product, red product, where Microsoft would donate a portion of their profits from these uh, products to the Global Fund to uh, help fight HIV and AIDS in Africa. So what we're going to be doing today is seeing if we can run this content pack here in Windows 10. And this is, as of this release the, uh, of this video, the latest and greatest version of Windows 10 which if I go to uh, Winver here is uh, version 2004. This uh, VM is actually enrolled in the Windows Insider program. So we're gonna go ahead and run. We have the executable file right here. Let's just run it and see if it works. So there we go, product red content pack. We're gonna press yes and check that out. It's opening up totally fine. Okay, so this does open up in the same install shield wizard, obviously. We've got the uh, product red branding on the side here. It tells you, you know, thanks for choosing Windows product red. Uh, and it tells you what it's going to install. This was the same exact install wizard, obviously, that I featured in the last video. Uh, so it tells us that if you're licensed to use Microsoft Windows Vista Ultimate or Service Pack 1 of Windows Vista Ultimate, you have a license from Microsoft to use this product. So does that license apply to if we try to install this pack on another version of Windows? I don't know, but we're just going to roll with it. So let's press next. We're going to go with the custom option here just so we can see what options we have. So I'm certain that the wallpapers and screensavers will install. I don't know. I mean, the theme is, I mean, this is essentially a Windows arrow theme that changes the color to red. And you can still change the theme color in Windows 10. Obviously, it's not arrow anymore. There's no arrow glass transparency. Uh, but you can still change the theme color. So this one might work. And for gadgets, we obviously don't have gadgets in Windows 10 but I thought of a great idea. I'm going to really quickly off camera install the 8 gadget pack, which I did a video on actually a couple years ago, which actually will bring back the gadgets for Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. So we have the 8 gadget pack installed. Now, I believe obviously some of these gadgets did not originally come with Windows Vista or Windows 7, but I believe that like the clock here, the CPU meter, and you know some of these other ones are the same gadgets uh, that's, yeah, I can see copyright Microsoft Corporation. So this program, I believe, is compatible with just regular Windows Vista and Windows 7 gadgets. So in theory, it should work. Oh, so it actually is in, okay, Windows sidebar. So it, it installs to the default directory. So it might actually work. Let's just go through it and, okay, we're going to accept the license terms, choose custom, make sure all of our options are selected, click next and click install. Updating wallpaper settings, updating gadget settings. It looked like it killed the sidebar. Updating screens. Oh my gosh, check that out, it actually worked. It's setting the theme, okay. So it, it set the wallpaper, it set the gadgets. Check those, these are the product red gadgets. Okay, so they do work totally fine. The gadgets themselves, there's not really much to say about them. Obviously the clock is just a clock with two uh, different skins. This is a separate gadget, it's called the red clock. So you can still have, like if we go to add here, we can still add the regular clock and obviously it will work just fine. Uh, this one here is called the red button or a buy red. And it's, the only thing it does is when you click on it, it will open up a uh, browser window and it goes to a shopping.msn.com page, which doesn't exist anymore as far as I'm aware. Uh, so check that out. It actually works. So if you want to install this content pack, like if you have a old copy of Vista product red and you have this uh, content pack CD and you want to install it on Windows 10, well, the gadgets and obviously the wallpapers will work. Now, it doesn't look like it applied the theme. 
Uh, let's go ahead and, I mean, both of these, I also explained this in the video, uh, these are both separate downloads that, and yeah, they just open up Internet Explorer windows and they go to uh, non-existent links. Uh, so we can't really, I mean, basically, the Windows Live Messenger content pack was a new skin for Windows Live Messenger, obviously, and the Internet Explorer modifications would basically just add favorites to your web browser that had links to other uh, product red related websites. So pretty self-explanatory uh, what those do. But what I am interested in doing is going into the personalization settings, which uh, we only have the modern UI uh, personalization settings, obviously, in Windows 10. So I'm going to actually download WinArrow Tweaker, which is another program that I did a video on, I believe, back in December of uh, 2019, which has, I mean, that's like a whole separate video. There's a lot of really awesome customization options that that program allows you to do. But one of them is it can enable uh, access to the older personalization settings, basically the Windows 7 style. So I'm going to install that and get that enabled, and maybe we'll be able to go in and view the uh, product red wallpapers folder. So we've got it installed here and we're going to add classic personalization, color and appearance and desktop background. So we've restarted Explorer. Now if we go into appearance and personalization and now you see we have the classic personalization option in here along with color and appearance and uh, desktop background. So we're going to open up this one. This will open up the Windows 7 style uh, you know, theme selector here. And it looks like it did install the product red theme, it just didn't apply it. But it did apply the desktop background, it did apply the screensaver, or at least one of them, the red word screensaver. But let's click on the red theme, which again just changes the color to red, which does appear to work. Yeah, check that out. In this case though, you can probably tell uh, it only takes effect on kind of the accent colors, so that's going to be little things like down here underneath the... Uh, like what programs that you have open. If we open up the start menu, well, if we hover over the start button, you see that the accent there is red. Uh, we've got the red uh, background for all these program icons. So by default, that's all Windows 10 does. But there are options you can enable in the modern UI settings to have the color take effect on like the window title bars and the start uh, or the uh, task bar and things like that. So there are options to enable. It's just not enabled by default. And this pack obviously does not enable that. We can go to screensaver here. Apparently it needs .NET Framework. Oh, I guess for the screensaver maybe? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So for this screensaver, we have to have .NET Framework 3.5 or 2.0 or 3.0 because this one just you know includes all three of them so we're going to install that and it was successfully installed all right so we're going to close out of it we should be able to preview this now so we can click on preview so there it is this is the uh, product red word screensaver this is the one where it just basically has the red logo kind of incorporated into various words and, and sayings so we've got unpredictable uh, you've got wired and down there at the bottom left you've got the uh, Vista product red logo and this one there are no settings to be changed if you if you click on settings it just comes up with this uh, message right here that says no options and the other one we have is the photo screensaver and this one uh, by default it will pull photos from the wallpapers folder and just to show you all of the wallpapers we can go into let's open up a new file explorer window we can go and you can see this is the red accent once again taking effect on the file button here. So we can go to C, Windows, Web, and it's going to be Wallpaper. And here they all are. So this is where Windows 10 still, I mean, these are all the themes here. So Windows 10, Windows, and Flowers. Uh, but these here are all the ones from... Uh, product red. So that is it guys. I am very impressed that this actually worked uh, and I, I think it was a good call to install the uh, 8 gadget pack because obviously the gadgets would not be able to function without that. So yeah if you want to, uh, well first of all if you want to get some more info about the two programs I mentioned in this video, that's 8 gadget pack and one arrow tweaker, I've got dedicated videos on both of them. I will have linked them up in the cards right now or when I first mention them in the video and I, I will drop the links down below as well if you want to check those out so uh thank you to all of you who uh, suggested this one this was very you know this was a pretty cool video to do and it's awesome that everything worked as expected for once uh which is definitely you know something that doesn't it doesn't seem to happen a whole lot on this channel we always get into various you know having to kind of tinker with stuff to uh, get things up and running but Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.